What's around everyone? This is your tarot card reading for Gemini season. Happy Gemini season for all you Gemini suns, Gemini moons, Gemini ascendants, uh, wherever your Mercury is at. Hello, this is for you as well because Mercury is at home right now in Gemini, chilling out, okay? And the sun is there putting light on the mercurial sign, okay? So, Gemini, right? April showers bring May flowers. So, we're going to be doing a reading today about what energy is around you, okay? Whether you can see it, not see it, feel it, not feel it, all in limbo, confused. I'm about to let you know what are the energies that are around you right now, right? So you can look up, you can look down, left, right, look to your back, your backside, diagonal. So what's around you right now? What is around you? That is going to be the questions I'm going to be asking these cards. What energy is around you? Because like I said, <clears throat> Mercury is at its home sign. So it's just chilling. But in the meantime, you know, Mercury is doing some, um, having some connections with some malefic planets out there. So, you know, it might be a little weird right now with communicating for some, um, depending on your alignments and things. But, you know, you might have some unique original ideas that you want to come across. And it might sound weird to people at this moment, but that's okay. Um, you can choose who you want to share that with or not. Um, then we have um, a lot of, hold on one second, being able to learn how to use your words and make it real whether it's you know speaking into existence whether it's your word is your bond whatever that looks like to you where it's structured it's sound there's a lot of learning that has to be um done with the communication and and speaking truth and speaking what is and um having some kind of um intent behind it some kind of um motivation behind it you know let's stay on the positive side because we've got will intent you know not will intent but ill intent right um also it's a gift at the moment to kind of change up the way you might you know think or communicate you know um maybe it's time to communicate a little bit different maybe your communication pattern hasn't been working all this time so now you want to learn different ways to communicate to your spouse or different ways to communicate to your family or different ways to communicate to your children or um, different ways to communicate to your friends. I mean, everybody's on a, a journey of self-improvement. I mean, that's why we're, um, most people are down here. Some are down here to help out. But <clears throat> here we go with this. So a lot of mercurial energy in Gemini with the sun being there. And then pretty soon, there's going to be a new moon in Gemini as well. So my goodness. And I know the Memorial Day is up. Yes. Celebrate me, of course. <laughs> Let me stop. But I'm just saying, people are out with their family. This is just like the first time on barbecues. You're out in the community a little bit more. So that's what we're going to talk about. Okay, what's around you right now? Okay, what is around you? So this is for all zodiac signs, but you know I'm going to start with Gemini first, right? Why? Because it's Gemini season. Yes, it is. So, let's get started. What's around some of the ascendant Leos? You have the Knight of Wands. So, fire on fire, huh? Whew. And we in Gemini. Oh, so where we at? Are you controlling your torch? Or is your torch out of control and it's burning down trees? It's burning down grass. It's burning down maybe a building. <laughs> a couple people. I mean, you know, this impulsiveness. The sun. Just imagine the sun being impulsive. Right. 
Right, you know what I mean? Right, yeah. So you got that. And of course, fire, you got that natural and you were born with that. But we in Gemini season, okay? And Mercury is at home in Gemini season. So, it can cause your flame to scatter. You know what I mean? You've been having a lot of gunshots um, in the country and all over the world. Think about all the gunshots that missed the target, the intent target, right? There was an intent. Target might have been missed, but trying to get to that target, so many other things was affected by that one intent. Okay, it was scattered, you know? So look at it that way, okay? Don't let so much of your feelings, you know, drive you to this impulsivity that causes destruction. You know what I mean? You gotta be careful when you're playing with fire. Even your own, all elements you gotta be careful with, you know? So even with water, you can drown in water, you know? So you can sink in sand, <laughs> you know what I mean? You could be like Dorothy, Dorothy in a tornado, you know, with the air. And of course, the fire, come on now, you can burn up stuff. But fire is not bad. You know that. We need fire, right? Look at the sun. Here comes the sun. That's you. But control that. Because Gemini right now is being affected by a lot of malefics that wants you to kind of think about it before you go, okay? Think about it. Does it make sense? Does plan A, B, and C make sense? Do you have a plan B or C? You know what I mean? Or are you just going off of whatever? <laughs> you know, you just mad and frustrated and whatnot because you're getting delays. Cancer is too, right? Like I said, Gemini is just two houses away from you. That's it. <laughs> so you want to be catching some of that air energy and the new moon is about to be in Gemini as well. Okay? So don't Look at your, and, and, and Mercury's in retrograde. So don't look at your passions and what you're trying to do as being, um, um, oh, why is it not coming so fast? Why am I not getting this? Why am I not getting attention? Why am I not getting, um, uh, the recommendation that I should? Why are they not recognizing me? How come when I did this, they didn't do that? How come? Whoa. Okay. It's time to go back to the drawing board. Mercury is in retrograde. So maybe I gotta go back and be like, okay, let me just just restructure my energy. Make sure I have intent with this passion. And what kind of intent is it? Is it destructive intent? Is it something that's gonna burn and grow? Because uh, farmers know if you do a brush fire, you know it enriches the soil and then it will grow a uh, more prosperous crop. Crop. If you didn't get the P at the end. <laughs> so and if you use it in that sense, where you're just clearing the path so that you can have richer soil, which cause richer production, you know what I mean? Then by means, that's what you're supposed to use it for. Go ahead, because this is like the night. You know, this is like that new energy that, you know, I need to clear all things so that the way I can go on my adventure with no problems, you know what I mean? Where I can be inspired and take action with no problem, you know what I mean? Where I can... Um, be free will and impulsive, hey, but my intent, I already figured out what my intent is, I already know how to turn the volume or the degree up, whether I want to do a low flame, and then I want to turn it to a medium, then I'm going to do high for five seconds, and then I'm going to bring it back down to a low boil, and let that simmer, and then that's going to come out perfect, see that's the kind of stuff you got to work with, you know, Leo's, because all that going on 100% and you got fire and exclamation points as an emoji. It's like, oh gosh, you know, don't put an air in there because this, well, air is already there. It's just, it's just, it's just sort of bullshit and stuff. So <laughs> pace yourself, but don't stop. Pace yourself. And if you need to stop, stop. Or you're going to dry yourself out. Okay? You're going to dry yourself out because now we're getting the end of spring and we're about to go into summer where the heat is on okay all right have a wonderful day and night leo sun